Hey guys, what's up? It's the Emperor here. First, I would like to apologize for the mic quality. I don't have my other microphone, like, uh, in at the moment. And, um, I'm actually about to go to sleep right after this recording, so I apologize. So, I promised that I would do this today, and I just literally got back, so that's why I'm kind of doing it late. Um, but this is the tutorial on how to do that screen distortion effect. So, here we go. So, go to, um, any image editor, uh, preferred GIMP. I really, really prefer GIMP for this, because GIMP makes your life a lot easier for the screen distortion effect. Go to new, and we're gonna do 544 by 416, because that is the default size of the RPG Maker VX Ace screen size. Right click background here, and you're gonna click add alpha channel. Now, we are going to find a gray. Uh, did you do, let's do about that dark. Yeah, that should do fine. So about a bunch of fives right here in the HTML notation. Click OK, paint it. We're going to right click, go to filters, uh, doo -doo -doo, distorts, and we're going to do erase every other row. Now this little window right here will pop up and then it should just, you just click OK. What that's going to do is it's going to erase every other row and it's going to keep like a bunch of lines as you can see. So we're going to go export and let me do that real quick. Okay, I didn't really like, you know, want you guys to see me like navigating and all that because that would be kind of boring for y'all. So I went ahead and navigated here. So you go to your project or your, your RPG Maker VX Ace folder, which should be in your documents, and you find your project. This is project one that we're going to be working with. You go to graphics, find pictures, and you export the image there. I'm going to do untitled.png because <laughs> this isn't like a major like, game thing, so I'm just going to title it Untitled. There's a bunch of music that I imported to test stuff out, sorry about that. So go to the resource manager and go to graphics slash pictures and click on imp- wait, never mind. Okay, sorry about that. So, um, right after that, we're going to create a new map. <laughs> we're going to name it Effect. I'm just going to paint some grass in it. Or some dirt. And a little bit of grass to show you how the effect kind of looks when you like pale it out. All right, so we're going to go to the event layer by pressing F6. We're gonna, well, first thing we're gonna do is start the player here. So now we're gonna make a new event. It's gonna be a parallel process. We are going to do, uh, the, on the second tab, we're gonna do show picture. If you're confused about any of this, go watch season two, episode 14 of the VXA tutorials. SE02, E14. So we're gonna select untitled. Make sure you, you're not overlapping a number of an image that you already have. Um, so what we're going to do is actually do height, we're going to do 105, and the Y, we're going to do negative 3. Opacity, we can keep that normal. The blending type, right here, you want to do add. Add or subtract, either one works. Now we are going to do move picture, make sure it's the exact same index, the number. We're going to do height 107, and then the X, or the Y, negative 5. Because I think it was negative three, wasn't it, before? Yeah, so negative five for that. Uh, make sure it's set for add, and instead of 60, let's do 120. So copy that and paste it by press right-clicking, go to copy, and then right-click and then paste. And I'm gonna edit it. And we are going to do negative three again, and back to 105, 120 frames. Now, if that's a parallel process, when we start the game, you should see the screen effect. Now, if that's a little too bright, all you have to do is go into GIMP, decrease the transparency, uh, the opacity, export, and that's all you have to do to change the transparency. And there we go. So there is our screen effect. Now, if you want to make it look a little more interesting, you can do uh, right-click the very top one and do insert, because that way it's not, it doesn't do this like after everything it does it before everything so that's why you want to have it at top tent screen and we're going to do let's do dark and let's make it really really gray not completely gray but really gray decreasing the saturation can kind of make it look more like a uh and i kind of had it okay see how it faded like that you can actually stop that from happening as well by doing this setting it to one and uncheck weight Another thing you can do, um, I have another picture, but I guess I'll show you how to do it. It just kind of adds to the whole grainy kind of feel. So we're going to zoom in. I just deleted this layer by pressing DEL on the keyboard, so it's all completely transparent. 
We're going to select the pencil tool. We are going to go to size. We're going to type 1. Let me scoot this over. We're going to type 1 for the size, and we're going to select pixel, which is at the top here. You're going to, you're going to place one little pixel right there. Now you're going to go to the very top left and you're going to make a square that's uh, 4 by 4. Hold on, I'm moving to you. 2 by 2 actually. Yeah, 2 by 2. You're going to click that and you're going to right click, edit, copy. Now you're going to go to the paint tool, go to pattern fill, select, your, select the uh, clipboard which is at the top left here, and simply click. And now your entire thing is filled with a bunch of checkers of transparent and gray. So now we are going to do export and I'm going to export as fuzz.png. And then I mean, make sure you export it again like back to the uh, folder that your pictures is in. And I apologize if I sound like I'm tired it's just kinda hard to concentrate. So we're gonna do basically the same thing but um, we're gonna make it two and we're gonna do add. Or you can do subtract like again either one of them work. But this, we're not going to move number two. We're just going to set number two at 100% full alpha. And that gives you that whole screen like TV like effect. It's kind of cool. <laughs> and uh, if you have a large map, which I will show you that really quick. If you have a large map, it will. It will kind of stay with it too. Like it's it's just a really neat effect. I'll tell you what I mean here. And it's not lagging. And it's just a really good effect to have in your game. I I really like this kind of effect. And the what this little the little fuzz thing does is you can kind of tell. I'll zoom it in on the editor. Check it out. It's kind of cool. Like it adds like these little grains. And it just makes it look so much more interesting. Now, if you want, you can actually just have that fuzz. And it just kind of looks neat in its own. I'm going to leave that because I already showed y'all how it works. Just the fuzz alone actually kind of looks... Like, it makes the picture slightly sharper, I guess. Alright, so anyways, I hope this helps. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you later.